Nurse Bays. My name is Brittany and you are watching A Dose of Nurse Bay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm super excited for today's video as always because we're going to be talking about something that is coming up a lot in my um, practice. I am, for those of you who don't know, I am a registered nurse, also an international board certified lactation consultant, and I do work in the hospital setting. And I've noticed that there's been an increase in mothers coming in who are THC positive, marijuana positive. So I really just wanted to shed a little bit of light on that area. From our standpoint, we do not recommend that you smoke while you're pregnant whether that be cigarette smoking or the use of marijuana. I know that there are recent breakthroughs in the legalization of marijuana use for recreation. And we're seeing that um, definitely in the community, in the hospital setting, that we're having an increase in moms who are marijuana positive. The results of the studies about marijuana use during pregnancy and while breastfeeding are mixed okay there's varied results because of that reason we as healthcare professionals lean on the side of precaution we just don't know enough about how this could potentially affect your baby's growth and development neurologically as the years go on so i would strongly encourage you not to use marijuana during your pregnancy or while breastfeeding and THC, which is the psychoactive component in marijuana, it's the part in marijuana that gives you that high feeling that is passed through the breast milk. We have studies showing that it does make its way into the breast milk. So it's just something to keep in mind. And another thing that a lot of parents are not aware of is the moment that you test positive for a substance like that, whether it's THC or something else, cocaine, anything like that, which definitely wouldn't be recommended during pregnancy or breastfeeding, the moment that you test positive, it triggers the hospital system to also test the baby, okay? I want you to know that this is the standard for many, many hospitals, especially in the United States. I can't speak for every single hospital, but it does seem to be pretty much the standard. If mom is positive, then you're testing the baby. And if the baby tests positive for THC, which is found in marijuana, they will be required to involve child health services and that's something that a lot of people are not aware of and it can be a really stressful and traumatic event for um, new moms and it's just not a way that you want to start off your first days of motherhood with that stress and and the drama of someone coming to make sure that you are qualified to take care of your child I could not even imagine that feeling so and a lot of people are not aware and I know people think of marijuana as not really a drug or anything like that and there's a sentiment a growing sentiment that you know it's natural it's of the earth it's not that big of a deal whatever you personally believe um, that's not even what I'm addressing at this time okay because you have your personal beliefs I have my personal beliefs what I'm coming to you with is just some knowledge that I think is going to be helpful to, for you if you may dabble in marijuana recreationally and it's that if you test positive and you're delivering in the hospital they're going to test your baby most likely and if the baby tests positive then at that point they will have to get child investigative services involved and this is something that is pretty standardized across the board that a lot of people are not aware of so I just want you to think about that before you engage in any activities. And also remember that there are some studies that show that this may have some type of effect on your baby's neurological thinking ability as time goes on. And even though the studies we have are varied, there's some mixed results. From my standpoint, I would strongly encourage you to err on the side of precaution. And if you are pregnant or planning on breastfeeding, not to indulge in marijuana at this time. 
I will put some resources below. Um, I will try to um, find some articles that show real medical studies that have been done that talk a little bit about some of the things that we spoke about in this video. So with that being said, um, I just wanted to make this video because it's definitely something that I've seen an increase in. If you are a new mom and you want to learn more about breastfeeding, I do have a breastfeeding basics class that I offer online. It is a virtual breastfeeding basics class and I'll put the link to that down in the description box below. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Let me know if you have comments, suggestions for future videos down in the comment section below. I love to hear from y'all. Till next time, be blessed.